Welcome back. So uh, this to the second part of my little tutorial. So in this uh, part we're gonna see how to apply this new topology, this new edge flow to our blend shape. So you see this is the blend shape for the left uh, snare that it is. And it still has the the old edge flow. This one is already the bound one that we finished up in the last lesson and it has a new edge flow we have. So we need to figure out a way to get this transformation for the face onto a mesh with this topology. So first what we're gonna do, let's get this over, take this, duplicate it once, uh, duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D, unlock its channels so you can move it, duplicate it once again and move it forward. So um, the little trick is here, let's move these two uh, on top of each other. Okay, we will transfer the attributes for the old mesh to the, uh, to the new one. And that way we can have the movement from this part of the face. Uh, see here's a channel, uh, another little change because of a uh, corrective blanchet, but uh, regardless of that, we just want to uh, get around for the face for now. So for doing this, we we'll first select our source mesh, then the target mesh, we go under mesh, transfer attributes. And what we, go, what we want to transfer is the vertex position. We could also transfer normals, UVs or color sets, but we only want to transfer position for now. The sample space that we're going to use is a UV space because uh, both models have the nearly the exact same UVs except for this part but we won't care about this because of, uh, we will discard the, the transform of this part when we apply it to this mo final model but later we're going to go to this. So let's say we apply now transfer and you see now both models have the exact same way only not this one already because it has a, co a new and uh, different topology but we not care for this for now let's delete the history on both and then we need to see which one was the one that we with the new topology and we can check this out here so you see, this is the old one, we can get rid of this now, we don't need it. And here, uh, I didn't... Okay, it doesn't matter. This this, one, this will work anyway, because of the following thing now. Now this mesh has the exact same topology as this one, and as this one. So what we can do now, is apply a blend shape from here to there. Let's see, create deformers, blend shape, let's call it uh, bs underscore v1. Doesn't matter how we call this because we will delete the blend shape node later anyway. So now we have a blend shape here. And if we activate this, you see how we get our sneer. But down here, you see, everything else changes as well every, everywhere where we had the change in topology. So what we're going to do now is leave this at 1 and go on the Edit Deformers Paint Blend Shape Weights tool, choose the option box, get this little node down here and paint everything to black there where we won't have any change. So it could be anywhere but I just want to do the, the important parts, the change in topology and uh, position. Okay, so now, now you see we only have our change here. Now we can go ahead and delete the history once again. And get from here to here and say create the former's blend shape. And now we can apply our final blend shape. So let's call this BS underscore phase zero one. Create the blend shape. And we now go here and use our new blend shape. See, we got the clean blend shape, nothing else is changing, no change in position for unwanted parts, anything is a clean way. 
the tricky part about this is, uh, or it's not tricky, but it's just daunting, that you have to do this step for every single blend shape that you have. So imagine this model had not, did not have very that much of blend shapes because I used another way to rig the face, but uh, it's not part of this lesson now. But imagine you have a, a model with 40 or 50 blend shapes. So this could be a very hard test to do. So just a little tip. Make sure that your model has clean topology before you start rigging and binding it. So you can avoid do stuff like this. But this is just a way you can do it if you really would have to do it. So that everything is okay. So that's, that's all. I'm not gonna go ahead and do the tutorial for the cloth modeling next. So see you there in about. Bye bye.